Revit 2018 gives us a new feature for model groups. Currently I have a layout of five medium offices all with the same furniture group inside them. Previously there was no way to count or categorize these model groups in a schedule. Now not only are we given the ability to schedule model groups but we can also assign both type and instance parameters to these model groups. By default, the only parameters that are assigned to model groups are reference level and origin level offset. However, using the project parameters, we can add a mark type parameter. I'm going to make it text. I'm going to put it under the identity data. And now, scrolling down in the categories, you can find model groups. I can hit OK and OK. Now if I select my model group and I go to edit type, I have a mark for my furniture group. So I'm going to call this PO-2 for private office 2. Now if I go to view schedules, schedules and quantities, I can scroll down my categories, select model groups. I'm going to call this furniture groups. Hit OK. I'm going to get my mark, my reference level, and a count. I'm going to move my reference level to the top. I'm going to go to sorting and go sort by reference level, add a header and a blank line. I'm going to select my mark. I'm going to turn itemized instances off. What this is going to do is it's going to generate a schedule that tells me what level I have Private Office 2 furniture on and how many of them I have. 